Looks like things are kicking off in the world of AI and robotics again. From an upgrade of an AI system that will take a popular robot to the next level, thanks to what the guys are doing at Boston Dynamics, to lightweight robots that could show precision and flexibility. These AI and robotics companies really are pushing the ante with their fascinating creations. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the most remarkable things to come out of the world of AI and robotics. Atlas. By now, many of us may be familiar with Atlas, the robot that became popular thanks to its acrobatic and parkour demos that have been released in recent times. Well, Boston Dynamics Incorporated, the American engineering and robotics design company that was founded back in 1992 as an offshoot of MIT, may have seen it fit to give it what they figured to be a much needed upgrade. They did this by installing what is known as a Large Behavior Model, or LBM. This is massive because instead gets rid of the need of the engineers to hand code every little movement that they want their robot to learn. Thanks to LBM, the robot can now learn new skills thanks to demonstrations. This means that instead of having to take weeks so that the engineers carry out their coding, all the engineers need to do to teach their robot something is show it. This would only take a couple of seconds or a few minutes, depending on the nature of the task. Don't just take your word for it. Just take a look at this demo that was released by Boston Dynamics. In this demo, we can see how Atlas is walking, crouching, and lifting packages so that it can sort it out in an organized manner. Pretty impressive, right? To show how adaptive the robot is, the engineers even did some unpredictable things in the image. They closed the lid of a box and slid it across the floor so that we could see how the robot could adjust to the situation. Looking at the demo, we can see how it stands out from the others we've seen in the past because we can see how the LBM controls the robot like one system, almost like a brain, if you will. This is an interesting approach to controlling robots because in the past, you may find that locomotion is controlled by one system while manipulation is controlled by another. Thanks to the LBM and Atlas, you'd find that both functions are unified in one system. This is truly an impressive feat, especially when we consider the fact that Boston Dynamics began the development of the project back in October 2024. This was when Boston Dynamics and TRRI formed a partnership. Looks like things are looking good with this partnership especially when you watch this demo that shows what they were getting up to after they formed this partnership. Scott Quindersma, the vice president of robotics at Boston Dynamics, had to come out to say that training a single neural network for long horizon manipulation tasks actually improves generalization and that Atlas has proved itself to be a perfect test bed because it shows us how this LBM is capable of displaying dexterity, strength, and precision. Elsewhere, Russ Tedrake from TRRI then claimed that humanoids are valuable because they can work directly with human environments. However, as great as they are, traditional approaches to programming just couldn't scale. Thanks to LBMS, this scaling problem could be a thing of the past. Unitree's amazing new robot. Over in China, we find that Unitree is letting us know that it is on the verge of releasing its next flagship humanoid. This must be the cause of a lot of excitement. Because in the past, the company was known for its already established advanced bipedal robots. Well, it is clear that they are not satisfied with their work because they have told us that they are about to release a brand new humanoid that will be about 180 meters tall. That is really something to see, especially as this would mean that the robot will be of the same height as pretty much most human men. Aside from this standard height, Unitry announced that the robot is expected to have 31 degrees of freedom in its point. Now that is really impressive because this would give it the balance and flexibility it would need to do things such as walking, balancing, or manipulation. Although we do not know when Unitry is set to release its exciting brand new robot, we are excited because it shows Unitree's intended direction. If anything, it shows how serious they are to become the best robotics company out there today.
Like we mentioned earlier, they already have a well-established catalog of robots, such as the R1 and the G1. But be sure that we cannot wait until we see this brand new robot. Figures Helix. We make our way back to the US, where we see what figure, the American robotics company specializing in the development of AI-powered humanoid robots, was getting up to. As a robotics company that was founded back in 2022, we can see how they have been working on robots for quite some time now, and as such, that demo that showcased their robots sorting out groceries together in a kitchen was welcomed. As impressive as these robots were, they may not be as impressive as their new walking controller called Helix. According to the people at Figure, the robots are truly something to look at. Then there was this demo that showed that this robot truly is something. Perhaps what makes it stand out is how human its movements look. Just take a look at how well it navigates through the environment. Just look at the time it even caught its foot on a curb. Although it actually clipped its toe on the curb, you can actually see how it adjusts itself so that it doesn't fall over. Following this, it makes its way through a messy environment while making all the necessary adjustments so that it can maintain its balance. To make this robot look even more impressive, Figure revealed that it was able to make its way through what was essentially an obstacle course while being blindfolded. This shows how reliable and robust the robot is at the end of the day. This is because of its ability to carry out reinforcement learning. It is so good that in some areas, Figure reported that the robot is already displaying superhuman levels of walking. Some Amy be like, what on earth is that? But when you notice that the robot is able to navigate its way through most environments with astounding balance that may even be better than humans, maybe such a claim won't be so far-fetched. If anything, it tells us that Figure may be on the verge of releasing a really fantastic robot. WI Robotics ALEX. We head back to Asia so that we can take a look at what is happening in the robotics scene in South Korea. Once we get to the land of the embroidered rivers and mountains, you may find that WI Robotics is set to reveal its first general purpose robot. They named this robot ALEX, which stands for All Experience. With a name so innovative, we actually expect a lot from this amazing new robot. At first glance, though, the robot really does grab your attention, especially when you notice that it isn't built on brute strength, like a lot of the robots that are out there today. Instead, you'd find that the robot is built based on principles such as muscle-like control, finesse, and responsiveness. After all, not all tasks will need brute strength to get done. As such, those interested in such a robot may be impressed by the fact that it's been reported to come with 15 degrees of freedom. This would help it display lifelike movements. With that in mind, it is also important to note that its response to forces, contact and impact is so lifelike, it is almost human-like. It is also sensitive, as it can detect forces that are as small as 100 gram force without using tactile sensors. When you look at its hands, you may find that it is capable of delivering 40 newtons of fingertip force. This is thanks to its design system that comes with more than 10 times lower friction, as well as rotational inertia. This is in stark contrast to the robots that have been released before Alex. Those robots are conventional collaborative, which means that they are just not as fluid Alex. To make Alex move even better, it comes with what is described as a gravity compensation mechanism in its waist to its upper body. This is great because this allows the robot to carry out high load tasks without messing with the structure of the robot or wasting energy. This is really impressive because Alex is a light robot when you think about it. For context, Alex hands weigh 700 grams and its shoulders weigh about five kilograms. Despite its ethos, it can lift more than three kilos with one hand. When you put this into perspective, this is a lot better than what most robots are able to pull off. For context, figure 02 weighs 154 pounds and can carry up to 44 pounds. Then there is Digit, 
The robot from Agility Robotics is capable of carrying about 40 pounds itself. Alex isn't trying to compete with this robot on that front. After all, we did mention that it isn't built based on pure strength. Instead, it is built for delicate and more gentile environments, such as healthcare or elder care. With any luck, by 2030, we will have this robot where it is needed. With that, we can see how these engineers are pushing the ante when it comes to their work. We truly cannot wait until we see such robots in everyday environments. Till then, we excitedly watch out for all the developments in the world of AI and robotics.